welcome back to the piano studio of Lisa Bailey and our continued series on the circle of fifths minor five finger scales. So here's our circle of fifths over here and you can follow along as we go around the circle of fifths with our minor keys. This video is going to be on the C sharp minor five finger scale. So let's work on that together. Let's review our F sharp minor five finger scale and the pattern of minor five finger scales. So our tonic, remember our tonic is the starting note of your five finger scale is F sharp. And we need our tonic, we need a whole step, half step, whole step, and another whole step. Same thing for the left hand. We start on our tonic, we go whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. Good. And if you can't remember exactly what whole steps and half steps are, um, go back to the video on A minor five finger scale or the E minor five finger scale. I explain it in there and that will help you understand what whole steps and half steps are. So now that we have reviewed our F sharp, we need to find our next stop on the circle of fifths. So F sharp was where we were. Remember we go a fifth. So our fifth note in the F sharp minor five finger scale is our next tonic. So we will be starting on C sharp this time. So this note here, I'm gonna move down to the middle so you can absolutely play your five finger scale up here or up here or move down further as long as you are on a C sharp. Okay, so let's figure out our pattern for the C sharp minor five finger scale. Here's our tonic C sharp. Then we have a whole step, half step, another whole step, and a whole step. Now let's do the same thing with your left hand, starting on our tonic C sharp. Whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. Good, so review that a few times. Practice that several times in a row to get used to all of those black keys. And remember when we're doing notes, when we have our thumb and our pinkies on black keys, we wanna have our whole hand slid into the black keys to make it easier to get those notes. If we have our hands way back here, we're gonna to have to crank our wrists around and move in awkward ways to get to these black keys. And we don't wanna do that. We wanna make it as simple and smooth as possible, which is why we slide into the black keys. After you've practiced the C-sharp minor five finger scale a few times, let's try it hands together, starting on our tonic, C-sharp. Good, take your time with that. There's no rush to jump into hands together, and there's also no rush to do it quickly. Practicing slowly will help you learn it better and more accurately. And then as you build confidence and you get better and better at it, then you can start speeding it up a little bit. Time for some improvisation, my favorite part of the video every single time. I love this part. So start with your five finger scale hands separately. Always do your improvisation when you're starting out hands separately. As you get better and better, you can do your improvisation hands together. So you can start in the middle, you can start down low, you can use your left hand, you can use your right hand, wherever you wanna go, but experiment with some improvisation. You could do something like that, or you could do a lot of long notes. And as always, there's the option to do stepping notes. And then you saw me doing skipping notes earlier too. So do some skipping notes too. Whatever you want to do, try out a few different things. And uh, when you're ready, we're gonna do the accompaniment together. So pause the video, take some time to work on some improv.
Our accompaniment today for our duet, our improvisation duet, is in C sharp minor, of course, because we're in the C sharp minor five finger pattern. And we're in three, four time signature. So I'm gonna give you two measures of three, four, and then we're gonna come in together. Here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Very nice. You are doing such a great job with these improvisations and I am enjoying playing them with you. You're doing such a great job with these minor five finger scales. You should be very proud of yourself. As always, I enjoy hearing from you. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you'd like to, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. There's more content coming and you're not going to want to miss a thing. I'll see you in the next video.